These are the top five neighborhoods zoned for East Lake High School. I'm Mark from the Fazzini Group, and we make these videos every week so that you can make better buying and selling decisions when you're looking to buy or sell in the Tampa Bay area. And we run a real estate team. We've helped over 3,000 clients over the years, and we'd love to help you. Whether you're just getting started and have a quick question, or you have detailed questions and wanna get started buying or selling a house, email or text us below. We'd be happy to help you. Okay, one of the high schools that is very, very popular for our clients coming into North Pinellas is called East Lake High School. And East Lake High School has a great reputation. They have great sports, and a lot of our clients wanna move into a neighborhood that's zoned for East Lake High. So that's what we're focusing on today. And it can be a little tricky because East Lake High School has neighborhoods that are zoned for it in Palm Harbor, in Oldsmar, and even in Tarpon Springs. So you have to really know the different cutoffs of what neighborhoods are zoned for specific schools. Okay, so the first neighborhood on our list is called East Lake Woodlands. East Lake Woodlands is a country club community. It has two 18-hole golf courses. It has 12 to 15 tennis courts, a pool, gym. It's a, a really, really nice place to live. Now within East Lake Woodlands, there are over 50 actual neighborhoods, and it's a huge, huge place. But there are many neighborhoods within in, you know, you have condos, you have 55 plus, you have huge homes, gated communities, you have this whole range of, of options. Our, one of our favorite neighborhoods in East Lake Woodlands, which is a 24 hour security guarded neighborhood, is the Enclave in East Lake Woodlands. So the Enclave has amazing homes. They usually are starting in the 1.5 million plus range, large homes on the golf course, beautiful construction, and it actually has its own gate within the manned gates of East Lake Woodlands. So that's one of our favorites within the community, but East Lake Woodlands is a great place to look if you wanna get your kids into East Lake High. Our second neighborhood on the list is Land Landsbrook. Landsbrook is another big master plan community. It has great amenities. You have several parks. You have full court soccer fields and basketball courts. You have a lakefront park that you can actually go boating or get picked up on a boat or launch a boat. And it's really, really family friendly. You'll see trails throughout the neighborhood. It takes up a huge, huge portion of the East Lake corridor. It's very close to East Lake High School. Some of the neighborhoods are within walking distance. And you have just like East East Lake Woodlands, you have a lot of options within the Landsbrook community. One of our favorite neighborhoods in Landsbrook is President's Landing. President's Landing is a gated community, one of the nicest in Landsbrook. You'll find homes starting in that million plus range in Landsbrook, but they are beautiful. Some are on the lake, some with pond views, and the construction quality is top notch. President's Landing also has its own little park and boat launch area, which is unique. And we just love this neighborhood because no matter where you live within it, you have so many events going on within the communities and you have so many options with all the amenities. It really makes for an amazing living experience. The third neighborhood on our list is Ridgemore. So Ridgemore is similar to Landsbrook in that it is a big area of communities, different neighborhoods, gated and not gated within that East Lake corridor. It's very close to the YMCA. It's very close to East Lake High and it has, you know, a Starbucks right out front of like the main entrance area. It's also also very close to getting to Trinity or going north. Ridgemore has some really great neighborhoods. They also have condos and different options in all price ranges. Some are newer construction, some are older. One of our favorite communities within the Ridgemore area is called Hawks Landing. Hawks Landing is a gated community, is a beautiful community. Most of the homes built by Ruttenberg and very high end. Their uh, prices ranging from the 900,000 range all the way up to two or three million, depending on the size, but that neighborhood is in its own little secluded area in the very back of Ridgemore. And there's a lot of other great options, very convenient to East Lake High. So Ridgemore has a great park area, basketball courts, walking trails, and a lot, lot to offer. Okay, the next neighborhood on our list is Oak Hill Acres. So Oak Hill Acres is a little bit different from our other options. It is actually an area of homes that is non-deed restricted. The lot sizes are much larger. Many of the lots are two to three acres, and you can actually have horses and different things out there that you wouldn't get in a deed restricted neighborhood. And Oak Hill Acres is still very close and convenient to East Lake High School, and it offers a really, really nice option if you want a little more land, a little more privacy, and you don't don't want to have to deal with an HOA or uh, heavy deed restrictions. The houses there are usually custom built, so they are a bit larger in size and different variety. Pricing can be a bit higher, but you can find homes in that area in that million range and they can go up, of course, quite a bit above there as well. 
Okay, in the fifth neighborhood, we wanna mention that zone for East Lake High is called Wentworth. Wentworth is a very nice gated community in the East Lake Corridor with a 24 hour manned guard gate. It's very exclusive. There's a golf course within the community. Many of the homes are on the golf course or have nice views. The construction quality is top notch. You'll find most of the homes are gonna be over 3,000 square feet. The price ranges are a bit higher in that million to two million range, but it's a very nice location and very high quality community. And the golf course, it is technically public or semi-private, but you have your own little practice facility close by, and it's a very nice family-friendly community. Now, few honorable mentions that we want to add to this video are along those same lines. You have Crescent Oaks, which is another golf course community that's really close to Wentworth. And then you have Cypress Run, which is just a bit north and has a very, very good reputation. Those are also two other options if you're looking to be zoned for East Lake High. If you've watched the end of this video, we would love to hear from you. Whether you have questions about the neighborhoods we mentioned here today or are just getting started looking in the Tampa Bay area for housing or you need to sell a home, please reach out to us. We would love to hear from you and love to help. Email or text us below. Thanks so much.